I don't think New York is going to do it. Like well, They're going to have to trade at least two first-rounders. All right, we're back here with another video, guys. NBA rumors, the latest buzz around the league. So if you like these type of videos, let me hear your opinions down below as I take a sip of Sprite. Like, comment, and let's hop in on the latest NBA rumors. Let me put this down. All right, Zach Levine spent his first three seasons in Minnesota, and I spent the last three seasons in Chicago. And there are a few teams, such as the New York Knicks and Brooklyn Nets, looking at Zach Levine. Zach Levine has just posted his career high at 25.5 points per game over 60 games for the Bulls this past season, while shooting 45% for the field. He also had his career highs in rebounding and steals, though it was a little over a year ago, or a little, yeah, about over two years ago now, that he signed a four-year $78 million deal with the Bulls. So his contract isn't going to end until after the 2021-2022 season. If you hear a little tapping, they're doing like roof work, and I, I really can't do anything about it. Though, so do I think Zach Levine is going to stay on the Bulls? I really think... So, who's the Bulls' best player besides Zach Levine? Are they really going to commit full-time to that rebound? Unless the New York Knicks and Tom Thibodeau really, really, really want them. And I don't think the Nets have the money. Who are they going to trade? DeAndre Jordan and a few other guys? Not worth it. The Nets aren't, Nets aren't going to do it. I don't think New York is going to do it. Like They're going to have to trade at least two first-rounders. They're going to have to trade a few young assets. They're going to have to send a haul, is what I'm trying to say. There's just not going to be a fair trade for the New York Knicks on what they're going to be just receiving just back about Zach Levine and a few guys maybe to make the money work. But besides that, it's just not going to be fair for anybody on the team, in my, my humble opinion. But with that being said, I just hit the mute button. I'm happy like you got that didn't like make any sounds. But... I don't, especially with Tom Thibodeau being the new head coach of the New York Knicks, I just don't see, I don't see that happening. That's not going to happen, if I'm being honest. So let's, let's talk about if the Nets would do it, they would have to throw up Spencer Dinwiddie and some first round picks and DeAndre Jordan just to make the money work, I feel like. And that's just already too much of your core and the, they've already screwed themselves once with the picks, so they're not going to do that again, so... Are they really going to... They're not going to pull the trigger. You'd rather build through free agency than through the trade sometimes. And I think that's what the, the Brooklyn Nets would rather do. I would rather do that. I like how it's both New York teams. I bet he wants to go to New York. But I'm just saying, I don't think that the Nets are going to do a move like that. It's just not worth their time, their money. Go a different route. DeAndre Jordan's future in Cleveland. This one, is this a... He looks weird in three. Like... Also, Cleveland's jerseys look like high school jerseys. Like, their jerseys look like ripoffs of jerseys from the NBA. Like, I don't even know where I'm going with that. Anyway, DeAndre Drummond. He's 6'10". He's played only eight games before the season was suspended. He has a player option for almost $30 million. And... There's a mutual interest between Drummond and the Cavs to work out an extension. He's about to turn 27, so he has at least like seven years left in him. He was averaging 17.7 points per game and 15 rebounds per game over 57% or over 57 games with the Pistons and Cavs and shooting 43% from the field. And he was the ninth pick in the 2012 draft. He's been in the league for eight years. I like Andre Drummond. You know what you're going to get with him. You're going to get... Du uh, a double double every game with him. You're gonna get a guy who's gonna get you at least 15 points a game and 15 rebounds at least a game. And you know what's the best part about that? He's gonna go with a block. Yeah, he might not be able to defend outside in the perimeter, but if you have a team like the Mavericks, where you put Kristoff Porzingis in a role like Dirk Nowitzki did in 2011 and had Andre Drummond play a role that I do believe that he could thrive in, like Tyson Chandler played in. 2011 when they won a NBA championship against the LeBron James led Miami Heat I'm telling you right now if they do something along those lines I do firmly believe that they will be able to 
have a very sh better season than now and better season than they have currently with the current rotate center rotation that they have because they have a, almost a center by committee down there in dallas imagine if they had andre drummond with christoph porzingis luka Doncic, whoever they got shooting threes and Jalen bronson i think they got shooting threes is in tim hardaway jr so that's that's a fucking fantastic line that almost looks like a modern day version of their 2011 lineup i would eat that up look this guy was a top 10 pick in the nba draft this means he he's great look i don't like kevin love i think kevin love should leave i think this cleveland cavaliers team should go on full rebound so first off i think drum will either be traded or he will walk away if he's gonna pick up the player option and if he does plan on picking up the player options they should send a side and trade so he doesn't commit to them and they get rid of him and they send him to a team like that is contending that is contending that is contending he in the each past seven seasons, he has averaged a double digit points and rebounds. Damn, they're like directly above me. But he has led the NBA in rebounds per game four times during that stretch. So if the Cavs do decide to sign him into an extension, it will be a likely sizable contract in order to lock him up for that long. But is it is it worth it? Is Andre Drummond worth it? I don't think so because the Cavs are going into rebound a rebuild. So just get rid of him. Do a sign and trade. Do what Chris Paul did when he went to the Rockets and he was like, hey, I'm not going to stay. But I do want to help you guys get some assets. So send him to a contending team. It's a win-win situation for the both of y'all. And he goes, has a chance to go win, do some NBA stuff. But besides that, don't keep him. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me hear your comments down below. The only other rumor I've, um, I'm really hearing about, I don't even know. That's all I got for today, guys. Hope you guys have a great day, because I know I will. So nice, you guys. Peace out.